If you're Continue. ordering a TS100, you might consider, um, I don't know. I don't know what you could consider. We're going to give you some information and you can decide what to do with that information. So mm -hmm. uh, some new TS100s have been shipping with clone MCUs. So that means the STM32s are not the proper STM32. They are a clone from a, a different company than STM Microelectronics. Mm -hmm. um, and in some cases, this is not a problem. And in some cases, as we'll see with the note under the table there, uh, please note that Miniware started shipping TS-100s with clone chips. While these do work with Iron OS, their DFU bootloader works terribly and it's hard to get successful flash, uh, larger firmware issues without timing out. So I've talked to a few different people. Um, so far, uh, multiple people have had success flashing. It just took a couple tries on the clones. And then another person said they could not get it to flash, and they're the ones who wrote into us by email to the news. So yeah. um, it is possible you will not be able to get this to work, or it'll take a bunch of tries, and it'll be really finicky um, if you do get one with a clone MCU. So that is just something to know. This is a shame because the TS100, uh, you know, there are reasons why, for example, the Pine Sill might be better, but uh, the TS100 has been a solid choice and one of the better choices for these portable soldering irons. Uh, but, uh, if you couldn't flash iron OS to it, then that to me would be a big downside. Well, are there, what about the people who are just like, screw it. I'm just going to, why am I going to flash my soldering iron? It's fine. Yeah. If, if you're not concerned uh, to flash it, there shouldn't be any concern. As far as we know, they're not like dying or failing or something. It's right. just that that DFU mode works oddly, uh, on some of these. So, yeah. Uh, Shadi, Sh Shaddai says, just use a pine sill. It's a great iron. I do agree. The pine sill is a great iron. If I remember right, the main downside is it only is rated for up to five S. Although some, there are ways you can make it work on six S. Uh, yeah. did they come up with a new pine sill that works on six S actually? I thought I heard that they had done that now that I'm talking about it. Not pine sure. Sill V2. They did come out with a V2. I think I reviewed the V1. Well, anyway, uh, Iron OS already ported. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. Oh, well, we'll have to look into that. <clears throat> no, it still says 12 to 24 volts, not uh, 26 volts. But that was the old one. What was the old one? Dang it. The chat will tell me. The V2 still doesn't. No, the V2 is rated for 24 volts, which means you might get away with success. Anyway. Um, if you, there you go. We got the word out there about the TS 100. Uh, we did our due diligence. Um, yeah. okay. Uh, 